Last time on Jungle Island Adventures, we're going to find a mesa. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and I am headed away from the tower there. And if you look behind me, let's see if I can... Yeah, I don't know if they're going to come. I've made a possibly terrible decision of bringing along a dog and a cat. And I might end up with more than one dog or cat with me, but I don't know. We shall see. And the reason I say ill-fated, or at least unwise, is because they keep running into the boat. So we may be dealing with that. Now, I am going to be generating new territory as we go here. No, they're not coming with me. Hmm. Okay, whatever. We don't need them. <laughs> Alright. So, if you remember, at the start of 1.8, I... Ooh. I started with... By chunking up, or deleting all the chunks from 1.7. And... What we ended up doing is um, we're generating new territory here, including one of those guys. So let's take a look, get a screenshot. We might come back there and visit that, but I am not ready to take that on. We need to stay away from the Guardians, because I am not set up to take them on. But we may come back and visit them. We are going over deep ocean, so we might find a few of these. And we're going to be heading in a north, uh, no more, more northeast direction. Not north northeast, but northeast direction. And if you were with me for the autism awareness and anti-bullying video that I did a while back, uh, we went to a jungle far to the north to get some uh, some watermelon, and that is close by the mesa where we're actually headed okay but this is all new territory I completely deleted those chunks of the jungle and uh, that's just to give you a heads up as to why things might be a bit jumpy here and we'll take a look at some of these islands along the way see if we see anything interesting I seem to remember a plains island with some horses on it this might be it here we shall see now Neelium suggested talking about what got me into Minecraft, all right? So, uh, one of the things uh, is that I had a co-worker who, he's actually the one that started our former multiplayer server, but he had been playing Minecraft probably since Alpha? Um, I'm not sure, and if Sturmfear, if you are watching this, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but he had been playing for some time, and he showed me some of the stuff he was doing, and it was early, early days. And he was working on a pretty, pretty cool tower. He was collecting clay and sand and building this massive glass and brick structure. And I'm not sure if he ever finished that, but... Yeah, he was building that, and he showed it to me, and I thought it was really cool, but the thing is, I just didn't get, I didn't understand. Ooh, got another one. I didn't understand it, and that was pretty early on. And um, another one of our co-workers had Minecraft as well, and they started up the, the multiplayer server, just playing it. And uh, by that point, I'd taken some interest, because I'd seen the video for the what is 8-bit computer? I think that was the first one that showed up. And that was in alpha. Okay? And, um... So that, that piqued my interest. And then the redstone update happened. Okay? And I say it happens because that's the one that really got my interest. I saw what you could do with automation and kind of taking care of some of the grindy stuff that I saw going on. And, um... Yeah, that uh, that did it for me. So I've been playing since 1.5, and so that's a lot, a lot later than many of you. Okay, so you let me know what when when did you get Minecraft? How long have you been playing? I'd love to hear hear that story. Um, so I got I got this in 
and 1.5. And uh, let's see, make sure we're heading in the right direction. Yeah. We're going to 1,000 and negative 2150, so we probably need to go that way more. Yeah. So we'll just head this way. And uh, Delium also asked, was that, that's a jungle. Let's see. What's this? No, I didn't need a screenshot there. Okay, this is going away from... Okay, this is not the jungle I'm looking for. Let's go... Okay, we're good on the X. We need to... Okay, we're too much on the X. There we go. Okay, head in the right direction. All right. So, uh, Neilium also asked, what was my first world and the first map? And, um, well, you are seeing it. Yep, this was the first map that I started. Uh, I can't remember if I looked for a specific seed or if I had seen one that I really wanted to use or if I just did it randomly, but I ended up with what I consider to be a pretty cool seed. Um, I've been poking around in um, in a midst just to see what... Uh, I keep doing that. Just to see what is available. Let's see, we're almost at, at uh, nighttime. So we'll go over land, all right? We're way, way too far on the X. Okay, so bring this back and boom. If we lose the boat, not a problem. Oh. Oh, we got a cat and a dog, so we should be good. That'll keep us from creepers. All right, let's see. We need to go that way and that way. And I keep hitting the screenshot, so we're going to have tons of screenshots. All right. I need to keep that, get rid of that. Sorry, folks. So, yeah, this was my first map. I ended up with a jungle island, and and I really, I like the island concept. It is a bit of, there's a bit of a downside to it in that you don't have a lot of variety right close by, okay? So that's something to keep in mind, but I've noticed since one dot... Uh, 1.7, the new terrain there. We've um, it's it's a lot harder to get islands. Um, well, not islands, but jungle islands in particular. And there's the mesa. Okay. Well, Neelium, there we go. It didn't take me as long as I figured it would. But you've heard the story of my my Minecraft experience and my first the first world that I encountered. And that's this one, and I'm sharing that with you now. But, uh, but yeah, so what? Uh, when did you start playing Minecraft, and, and what was your first world? And are you still playing it? Do you go back every now and then just to see what's changed and if stuff is working or not? What's that? That's a cave and a cave. I keep hoping for an open-to-the-air dungeon, but... No such luck on this one. And what do we got down there? More caves. Nice. Well, let's get on top of this hill here and set up our little our bed situation. And then I'll get a portal done. And maybe, maybe we'll head into the nether and try and get, get back home. Ooh, very nice. Not quite what I was wanting. So let's just uh, lay down the bed here. Brought far too many boats. But again, I didn't know whether the dog and cat would be messing that up. All right, so here we go. Um, and I'm running out of food. So we got the Mesa. Let's, let's just take a look around. I might not bring you along. I'll take a look at the video length and figure out from there. But yeah, I, I like Mesas. I really do. Um, and what I'm going to have to do is search around here for a specific place to start digging. I don't just want to come in and rip up the, 
the hillside right here because you've got, I mean, this is a nice place to build. You've got the mesa right here, jungle right there. It's a, it's a pretty neat combination, I think. So we'll probably go further in and start digging away. And if you happened to see, oh man, that's beautiful. Look at that. They all did themselves, I gotta tell you. Look at that. What what's the thing list? Mesa Plateau. So we'll go over there. Ender Pearls. I still haven't done an Enderman farm. But uh But I managed to get some from the mob farm up top. Oh, that's nice. Well, thank you. Thank you, Neelium, for the suggestion. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a look at the video length. We need to head back for the little reminder about what we should do next time. And I may bring you along for the nether trip. We shall see. All right. So bear with me, and I will see you in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back up in the penthouse. And I did not bring you along for the trip through the nether. Uh, because I wanted to make sure I had time to revisit our projects for the next time. Now, we have finished the Mesa project. So there we go. Wait, nope. That was an adventure. So we go right there. All right. So we found a Mesa, and it looked pretty cool. We will definitely revisit that. I need to set up a beacon and, and get things kind of situated there for collecting. But I will do that at a later time, possibly off camera. And I may or may not show you. I may just take you there at some point and do a little world tour type uh, thing. So now the reminder for the projects, I've done a little bit of a switch since we were last up here. So we've got slime farm, enderman farm, and the nether gold farm. Okay. The reason that I pulled out the wither skeleton farm is because it requires a lot of sticky pistons. And I really need a slime farm for that. Otherwise, I have to hang out down in the swamp and wait for the moon to have the right cycle. So uh, we need to get a slime farm going pretty soon. But uh, there we go. I can do an Enderman farm on the cheap because there are ways of getting around that now. Okay, so there are your your suggestions or the, uh, the set of possible projects for the next episode or set of episodes. So slime farm. Enderman farm, nether gold farm, and then always the random option is available as well. So let me know what you think. Also, just a reminder from our little trip to the Mesa, when did you start playing Minecraft? And are you still playing on your original world? If not, uh, what was your original world? What kind of seed did you get? So you've heard about mine. I would like to hear what your Minecraft journey has been. But that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.